how do you guys like formulate everything? Mm, well, we all listen to a lot of progressive stuff, but we also listen to a lot of ambient music as well. So our sound is kind of based on contrast and doing heavy plus light and melodic right next to each other. So that's probably where that comes from is just listening to a really wide range of music. How did you all come together? Uh, we're it, started, it started with uh, the four of us uh, like three, three, three and a half years ago. And then he just joined uh, like a year, a year, a year and a half ago. It's a year ago. It was about a year ago, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's been going good ever since. Awesome. How did you, uh, what's the record label you guys have? Good Fight. Good Fight? Okay. How did you guys come about with Good Fight? Uh, to our manager, his, you know, friends and contacts that he had had, we, that was one of the labels that we've been talking to the band about, you know, trying to get a contract going, and, and we ended up going with them because they really ended up treating, treating us the best, to, you know, especially at the level that we're at right now, and, and that was a really good choice for us because they, they really do take care of us and everybody that is with us we love, we love working with. So. How long have you guys been on tour now? Just uh, it really started. I think touring with once we got signed and then started touring with like from our booking company. The band had done like 60 DIY tours before that in the past like previous two years. But ever since like July, middle of Ju last July, so a year, just about a year. And you guys originated out of Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Indiana, Indiana boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, who are your major influences that has to do with your vocals? Because you have two different vocal styles. That's right. Um, I would say that I take a really big influence, like metal, metal vocals, like screaming and stuff wise. Uh, just blind, fans like Black Dagger Murder, I, I really like uh, his style a lot. Highs and lows and such. I mean, there's other bands too, like you know, The Faceless and uh, just other metal stuff that I listen to. And the singing wise would probably be like uh, Cynic and As Tall as Lions and other bands like that that I listen to. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, bass-wise, I take a lot of influence from a band called the Mercury Program. It's, uh, they're awesome. Super, super awesome. Uh, uh, I take a lot of influence from between the Barry and Dan is phenomenal bassist. So, uh, <laughs> of course. Who are the biggest bands you've headlined? Or, or, or that we played with? Yeah. Um, Acacia Strain. What, we, we, went out, we, we went on tour with Acacia Strain. Um, Red Chord, Terror, and Gaza, and that tour was insane. There was a lot of good turnouts. And, uh, you know, definitely Rings of Saturn is probably one of the biggest bands we've ever played with. <laughs> 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 For you, buddy. Yeah. Um, is there anything that um, we can expect from you that's different from what we're hearing now with your sound? Uh, with the next album and like, everything? Yeah, um, next writing process. I would say we're going to go further into, you know, diving into contrast and trying to find, you know, what's the heaviest thing we can do, what's the what's the lightest thing we can do, you know, along those lines. But other than that, I mean, we're always going to try to be as progressive and try to be as interesting and good song. It's all about good songwriting for us. We're not really interested in trying to be the heaviest, but, you know, we, we really like to have a unique sound where the songwriter, you don't know where it's going to take you and stuff. So Is that where you got your that. name? Like... Mm, I, I think his name kind of came about from nothing. Yeah, it was just something that we came up, we came up with a couple years ago. We just thought it fit the sound that we were oh, trying to go for. Oh, there's a huge significance there. Yeah, it's not huge. Some people like to think so, but then some people don't. So it's kind of. I think we just settled that. It doesn't mean too much. <laughs> Did you guys ever think when you get to be like on bigger shows to get an actual contortionist act and? Have one and act on stage while we're music. playing in cages above us. Yeah, <laughs> two contortionists naked above us in cages with strobe lights on them. Yes, I've thought about that a lot. Oh wow! I think it would be awesome. That's pretty awesome. What do you guys do? Budget forbidding. Well, <laughs> we will definitely do that one day. What do you guys do on when you're on the road? Like sleep, try to eat not at McDonald's as much as possible, yeah. and sleep. I'd say that's the biggest thing. I mean, just hanging out. We're all friends, so, you know, we all have a good time together in between. It's not like, you know, we're just musicians, you know, with each other. We're also really good friends. The whole band is everything. So we have a good time in general just hanging out. Okay. So where can people get a hold of your music? Pretty much anywhere. Uh, I mean, online, iTunes, Amazon. Um, a lot of Best Buys have it. A lot of Hot Topics and FYEs. So if, 
if they go online and Google it, there's, there's a lot of options. And how can somebody book you? Just get a hold of Big Cloud Records? If you, uh, yeah, email the band email and we can direct it from there. If there's any promoters or booking agents that want to, you know, have us come play, for sure. Get awesome. in touch with our booking agency, the Kenmore Agency. So. Okay. And uh, what are your future ambitions? Play more shows, <laughs> make more songs. Gain more fans. There right. it is, right there. The three things. Top three. Ow! Top three. I nailed it. <laughs> All right. Is there any famous quotes you want to leave with? Mm. Famous quotes from us? Yeah. <laughs> you can use something for yourself. You might have to like edit me thinking for ten seconds. Well, okay. Iron Maiden or Metallica? <laughs> Why are you thinking? <laughs> uh, I have to say. I don't really listen to either of those bands, so... I got it. I was going to say, kids, smash it and bang. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's the uh, famous quote from...